first started you out, what did he give you? Uh, he gave me and Kevin about maybe what, uh, four, four or five ounces of cocaine. Uh, this cocaine was some of the best cocaine I ever touched or you know, saw. Take a look at what's in front of me. Can you top that? Can you Spot called Joe Grant's. Famous club. Uh, if people, you know, talk about the era back then, they don't know. So the first thing I did was I took a few grams into Joe Grant. And the old timers that was gambling and shooting craps and stuff, I all gave them some of uh, the cocaine to a bill. And I gave some to an old time around our block in 112 Street called Fast Herb. Fast Herb was alive. And I broke a rock. The rock was so hard and I gave him some. And the coat was so pure that when this dude took a hit, and when he took a hit, he started crying. He took a hit, he said, and tears started coming out of his eyes. Another guy took a hit, and his nose started bleeding. And I'm being this nose me, the cocaine needed some cutting on it. I didn't know, I didn't know. I guess, you know, that's how Rich was giving up. He didn't even touch his cocaine. So he was like, wow, yo, where you get this from? Oh my, you know, so I had, you know, all these people coming to me trying to get this. Take a look at what's in front of me. Can you top that? Can you top Fritz bought his way to 12th Street with them, with them boys. Well, Fritz didn't need, you know, this is my, he, did, he, he wasn't looking for that. Cause money was no object. He really didn't care about money. That was just, you know, nature was about money. You need money to survive. But when you talk about love and care and, you know, you know, uh, uh, embracing somebody, the money ain't had nothing to do with it. Because if anybody know the history of Toll Street, we've been, we been used to getting money. Before Fritz came, we had Jerome Harris, you know, and his brother, we had Horse. It was always dope being sold on 12th Street since I was a baby. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't, it wasn't that. I guess what Fritz seen in us was a block that was together, which a lot of blocks uptown wasn't like that. He said, I guess Fritz said in his heart, these guys really love each other. You know, I would like to be a part of this. So it wasn't about a dollar. Even when, if it was about a dollar, or if it, or if it was about that, then all the money that Fritz had, we'd have went up there and killed Rich. We'd have went up there and killed him left and there. Who would stop us? You got 30, it was 40 of us on the block. Who would stop us? Who would do that? So that's when you know that there was love. We didn't care what Fritz did with his outside money and with his operations. We loved that man. Yeah, I'm getting money, baby. What do? Ain't nobody making fun of me. Cause now I know what I want to be. Take a look at what's in front of people. Able to hustle in one block and everybody make money. Well, it's, it's ironic that you asked that question. And that's easy. The cocaine, the crack that we had, that Fritz was giving us, was 99.9% .9 pure cocaine. <laughs> so everybody got money. There was so much, if you, oh my. Sexy, yeah. And don't hate the cool, cause you can't It wasn't about greed, and it wasn't about fashion, and it was about family. And he said, I'm gonna give it to you where you're not gonna really owe me a dime. So we wasn't used to that. We was always used to, you know, the money got to go somewhere. The money got to be paid to some, somewhere, you know. But if, you know, Fritz had a model. Okay, I'll give you some coke. You mess it up, I just won't mess with you no more. I'm not going, what am I going to kill you for? If I kill you, now I got to worry about your body, and I still ain't got my money that you owe me. That don't make no sense. I'm going to show you how to get some real money. So he made sure that the block had whatever it needed so that no one would be left out. That's, that was hard to do, very hard to do, especially without bringing any animosity towards your inner circle. You know, we didn't notice the later on during the time. Fritz used to watch us through his binoculars upstairs. He used to study us, you know? I had found that out later on. And it took us a time to 
understand Fritz I his ideal ship into a deal. It wasn't about the money. It was about the money, but it wasn't. You couldn't pay Rich to put on a fur coat or to wear a duck. You can't trust your friends. And if I introduced Rich, I introduced Richard Porter to the block in 1986. Richard Porter, I called him, yo, Rich, I'm home. He said, yo, Reg, Reg, he ain't like Rambo. He said, I don't like Rambo, I like Reg, Reg. He said, yo, Reg, Reg, I'm on my way. Rich drove up in a white M3 BMW. Jumped out with the Hail Mary on with the Dita suit. Yo, what's up? And Fritz was sitting right on the stoop. And this was a classic moment. I always tell everybody this. So Fritz said, yo, where'd you at? Yo, where you man Fritz at? Because I used to tell him stories about Fritz. I said, listen, man. He's right behind me, over my left shoulder. But don't stare at him. Just look, that's it. Now Fritz was sitting on the stoop with an old raggedy shirt on, old jeans, and some bummy ass sneakers. Richard Porter looked over my shoulder and said, Yo, come on, Reggie Red, stop playing. Hit me in my chest. Yo, stop playing. Come on, that bum ass thing. Where your man Rich at? I said, that's him. And he said, Oh, incognito. So clothes didn't matter to me. Cars didn't matter. He didn't like any flashy cars to be on the block. He didn't like that flashy stuff. Uh, one or two parties they gave. We had to we literally tie Fritz up to make him put on a fur jacket and some pants. He had this reversible fur. It was me. Oh, I ain't never seen a coat like that. It was a reversible me. Me. And Fritz put on some slacks and some shoes. And he was like this. He didn't, he didn't even feel it. Yo, how long we got to be out? <laughs> That's how uncomfortable he was in that outfit. I'll never forget where we went. And he was uncomfortable with that. He didn't want to put it on. Forgive me if I'm offending you. But growing up as a little kid and hard. He said, if you buy liquor, if you buy Jordan's jeans, Sergio Valente, he said, that's what it was back then. He said, if you buy marijuana, or if you buy anything, you're not a hustler. He said, you're hustling backwards. He said, those are hustlers. He said, why would I take my money? I'm hustling. They give it to another hustler? No, nah, that's hustling backwards. You don't do those. He said, save your money. Uh, he wanted us, instructed us to pay our rent for four or five months straight. That's why he said, you get that out the way, then you ain't got to worry about it. He said, don't gamble. Stay intoxicated. He said, if you're intoxicated, how are you going to watch for the police? How are you going to watch for your enemies? And things in this nature. Uh, Fritz was very non-violent. And when I say non-violent, I mean non-violent. There was quite a few people that I knew that took drugs from Rich, and he let them live. We always, you know, didn't want to let things like that happen because we thought maybe people would try to take advantage. But he would say, nah, they just, once I put the word out <clears throat> that they ain't paid or for this good shit that I'm giving it out, it will be a bum. You will never get another dollar anywhere in Harlem once I put the word out that he beat me. Street Radio. Other blocks that he was beating the crackheads up, sicking dogs on them. And Fritz said, you gotta be out of your mind. These are the people that's putting clothes on your back. Are you serious? You treat them with the utmost respect. When they don't have a dollar or two, somebody shit you, give it to them. You give it to them. They, he, they gonna spread the word to the next one and so forth and so on and so on. So what? You get a little short. You should have it, because if you ain't drinking, and you ain't smoking, and you ain't giving your money to nobody else, then you should be able to do that. He said, see, everything falling together, right? And I didn't understand. Yep, I got money. Hey, oh, girls say I'm sexy. This with my own eyes. It's not, it's not no story I'm telling you. This is, a, I used to sit down on 109 Stoop and watch this with my own eyes. People would pull up in cars to get rent money, to get food money put their children through school, uh, mortgages and stuff like that. Fritz, when you say wear your heart on his sleeve, no, 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 we gotta make up something else, some kind of, some kind of other cliche, cause it was more than that. I think that 
if you ask me, I think Fritz may have his heart was so good. I think he had may may have overdid it a little bit. But the money didn't money didn't mean anything to him. That's why he was like, it's all I know, and it's the life that I live. So let me handle my fears. Take a look at what's in front of me. Can you top that? Can you top that? You better stop that. Yes, they heard about me.